A new and very welcome addition to this year's Head School was a human rights walk within the TUD campus. As you will see, this was a beautiful walk alongside hedges and through trees resplendent in autumn colours. For me, this walk has echoes of the Afri famine walks, which have taken place in the Dulac Valley and in Carlow and in other locations throughout Ireland for the past three decades or more. Walking is the means of transport of poor people around the world. They walk in search of food, of water, or to escape war and climate change. In this walk, we focused on some of the sustainable development goals, very important targets which have been set by the United Nations to help us achieve greater equality and sustainability. And we also raised the issue of missing a goal, the goal of eliminating war and arms industry, which is strangely absent from the Sustainable Development Goals. Sadly, Ireland is getting ever more deeply involved in the sordid business of weapons production and promoting war, to the extent that the Department of Defence is hosting an arms fair in the Aviva Stadium on November the 25th proudly offering the opportunity that it will provide networking opportunities with senior officials from the European Defence Agency, among others. Our Hedge School walk was one of solidarity with people suffering around the world, many as a result of war and climate change. We also walked with reverence and respect for this wonderful but fragile planet on which we are privileged to live. everyone and welcome to our virtual walk. The first stop is the tree planted at Afri Hedge School two years ago. There are eight stops in total including the first stop on this walk. The theme of this year's Afri Hedge School is homelessness and climate change so each stop will include information from the sustainable development goals. The second stop is at the Horticultural Building and it is number 13 of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is Climate Action. It has targets set to be achieved by 2030. There are five goals in total and they include strength and resilience and adaptive capacity to climate related disasters, integrate climate change measures into policy and planning, building knowledge and capacity to meet climate change, implement the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change and the fifth one is to promote mechanisms to raise capacity for planning and management. So we are now at stop number three and I will speak about goal number 12 which is responsible consumption and production. So what is goal number 12? Goal number 12 is to ensure all countries ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. This may be done through various methods such as promoting research and energy efficiency and sustainable infrastructure. Within Goal 12 there are 11 targets to achieve. These range from more information, um, more education, reduce food losses, reduce waste. Some statistics within Goal 12 are 5 trillion single-use plastic bags are thrown away every year. 1 million plastic drinking bottles are bought every minute. And then uh, 1.3 billion tons of food go to waste. There's also a garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean that is twice the size of France. And water pollution is another issue. So how can we help uh, consume less as we buy so much these days? Uh, so to achieve this goal, all countries must make an effort whether they are developed or not and underdeveloped countries should get support of countries that are developed. Uh, we need to find new solutions and information and uh, we also need the help from big businesses um, to promote um, more action within this goal as um, they have lots of followers so people will follow them if uh, the businesses are doing like uh, good.
So for my first stop, I spoke about the seven sustainable development goal, which is affordable and clean energy. Um, clean energy is energy that comes from renewable zero emission sources that do not pollute the atmosphere when used. So some examples of where to find these sources of power would be wind, solar, hydro, tidal and geothermal. Um, benefits of using clean energy is you would see a massive reduction in air pollution and a re reduction of dependence on imported fuels such as coal and oil. Um, and this in turn creates jobs for the people of Ireland also as they would be needed to develop, manufacture and install these sources of power. Um, so how to make smarter choices when it comes to clean energy would be the use of solar panels and the use of smarter cars and homes. Um, and the future of clean energy in Ireland does look very bright as Ireland has pledged that 70% of its electricity will come from renewable sources by 2030 and this aligns with the state-led action scheme which is called the Renewable Electricity Support Scheme. For my second stop, I spoke about the sixth sustainable development goal, which is clean water and sanitation. Um, clean water has been defined as water that will not harm you if you come in contact with it. Um, so clean water is critical for survival as it not only impacts um, your health, it impacts food security and the livelihoods of families across the world as well. Uh, currently, one in three live without sanitation, so this causes unnecessary disease and death. Uh, although huge efforts are made to access clean water, lack of sanitation is really undermining these advances. Uh, goals going forward uh, is that by 2030, we hope to achieve safe and affordable drinking water, um, end open defecation and provide access to sanitation and hygiene for all. Um, and to improve water quality and wastewater treatment for safe reuse. Um, they also hope to expand sanitation support in developing countries also. So we are now at stop number four and I will speak about goal number 12 which is sustainable cities and communities. The aim of this goal is to make cities and communities more safe, inclusive, resilient and sustainable. Within this goal there are 11 targets which are affordable housing, sustainable transport systems, safeguarding our cultural and natural heritages, preparing for natural disasters improving air quality and waste management and providing more green spaces. So some statistics say that cities use 60 to 80 percent of energy consumption globally. 75 percent of the global carbon emissions are used in cities. So what can we do to help? Um, we can live car free, use a bike, walk or use more public transport. Take one less flight each year go on a local holiday instead. We can change our diet. We can buy less new clothes. There's so many ways that we as individuals can contribute to achieving this goal by 2030. Goshke, the President's Award, is a really good organisation that works with young people around setting goals with young people in a number of different areas. And as a part of their 35th anniversary, they're running a campaign called Bulb for Bees. It's a very doable and a very simple programme, which involves a lot of secondary schools, youth services, community groups and TU Dublin planting bulbs that are bee friendly and are pollinator friendly and it means that in the early spring that the bees are good and strong for the rest of the summer moving forward. So it's a really doable and a simple action that supports change. Hey everyone, today we did our sustainable walk as part of our Afri Hedge assignment and we had like seven stops and at each stop we spoke about a goal which was all of these goals behind me 
So these goals really mean a lot like to us and as students because we want them to be achieved by 2030. We want more awareness about them and just like everyone to be informed about them. We also talked about the missing goal which is like to abolish war. So like there's a certain amount of money that's being spent on war and it's absolutely crazy. And as Joe stated, this is the goal that the people in high power don't want to be in there and it should be in there. Everything went well and it went great and hopefully we created more awareness about the sustainable goals. Well, the missing one means a lot about the abolition of war, abolition of ammunition, something like that, and the industry. So it means a lot because uh, the government is spending a lot of money, you know, making uh, ammunition, but they don't think the other side of what is happening. So it means a lot if they can add it to it as well. For clean water, for every other things, it will be a good thing.